Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another requested video, which is the crescent moon and the crescent moon roll. This is a really great move that is very useful for transitioning as well as just being pretty by itself. Start on the bottom with one knee hooked and both hands on one side of the hoop. Then pull with your arms and bring your torso up on the same side of the hoop as the leg that is hooked. So if you have your left leg hooked like I do here, you're bringing your torso up the left side of the hoop. As your torso is coming up, the bottom of the hoop slides up your thigh to the very topmost part of your inner thigh, but not all the way to your crotch because that is super painful. The secret of this move is keeping the hoop in the little crease between your crotch and your thigh. It shouldn't hurt at all if it's in the right place. Leave your foot hooked on the back of the hoop behind your hips. If it helps, you can hook your toes over the hoop to leave that foot on. Once you're in this position, you can really play with taking your head back towards your foot or straightening your bottom leg or taking off an arm. There's lots of ways you can make this your own. That's the basic crescent moon move. And if you're a beginner who's going to just stick with that for now, don't forget to go over to my channel and subscribe subscribe because I have lots of tutorials and videos for inspiration and choreography ideas for all levels. If you're ready for a more intermediate level, let's go on to the crescent moon roll. To go into the roll, make sure that your hands are roughly face height, then slide your hips down and out of the hoop away from the leg that has your toes hooked on the back. Next, without stopping the movement, use your bottom leg or free leg to come back through the center of the hoop on the other side and you've rotated half a circle all the way around so that you're back with the hoop on the top of the other inner thigh. To do a series of rolls like this, you're just doing the same movement but reverse. So you do one side, then the other side, then the other side. Just keep going back from right to left to right to left. You can also continue doing these rolls in one direction, making a full 360 degree rotation by as you finish the first half of your roll, coming into your opposite hip crease, pull up with your arms, gently bring your crotch over the bottom of the hoop, and you're back in your original hip crease where you started. Pro tip, this is more of an arm move than you think it's going to be. I'm really using my arms to lift the weight off of my hips and thighs as much as possible, especially if I'm doing the full 360 degree roll. Using your arms is also the key to making these look smooth and controlled and graceful. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning the crescent moon and please remember that I do take requests. This was a requested video and if you have a move that you would like to learn, let me know because I'm always looking for ideas.